What's up everyone? And long time no see. It has certainly been a while. A uh, very crazy year to say the least so far. But we are back. It's time to talk about haunt season. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time, but every time I went to go make it I decided to not. I kind of pushed it back. Um, just didn't feel right. But now is the time to talk about haunt season. There's a lot to talk about. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Um, I'm going to go over quite a few haunts and I'm going to make a few videos on like individual videos on some of the haunts not for all of them but mainly the ones that are happening I'll more than likely do individual videos on um, at some point and post them but for the meantime I'm just going to go over basically the general haunt season for 2020 haunts that are cancelled, haunts that are uh, planning on opening, haunts that we know for sure are opening and so on. So without further delay, let's get into it. So starting off, uh, let's talk about haunts that uh, aren't happening this year. We've got Dark Horizon, Halloween Horror Nights, uh, Chamber of Terror, and Fright Nights at the South Florida Fairgrounds. Um, so Dark Horizon has announced that they're not happening. They're not going to be doing their event this year, which is sad. We had a lot of fun with them um, last year. And I was really looking forward to going this year, but unfortunately, they aren't going to be opening up. Uh, the big one, obviously HHN, was a huge surprise for a lot of people. Um, it was a very big shock to me. It's unfortunate because we just we had bought our tickets two days before they had announced that they were going to be canceled. Um, well, postponed, whatever you want to say. It's either or. But, uh, yeah, we were pretty bummed about that because we had just bought our, our tickets. We had bought our hotel for opening weekend. Looking forward to hanging out with all of our media friends and everything like that. And unfortunately, that is no longer happening. Probably for the better. Next year is going to be an insane year. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy HHN more next year because it's going to be such a long delay between events that it's going to be nice having everyone back together again. And I think it'll be a more enjoyable event um, the following year. You got Chamber of Terror who aren't opening up, uh, not because of everything that's going on. Uh, the person who runs Chamber of Terror has decided to retire and he's no longer doing haunts, uh, which is unfortunate. Chamber of Terror was a lot of fun. We went last year. We got to do it in the rain last year too, which is kind of cool. That was a nice little element to be able to do a, a haunted attraction uh, in the rain. It wasn't, there was no roof or anything. It was kind of like a trail. So we got wet, but it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. The actors were still very much into it. So it's unfortunate that they're not opening up this year either. And Fright Nights in the South Florida Fairgrounds uh, are also not opening up. They announced that a few days ago, I want to say, um, which sucks because that was another haunt that we were planning on going to this year that uh, now we can't go to. Um, so hopefully they open up again the following season next year because we were really, we were planning on traveling this year and going to a bunch of these different haunts and now obviously with everything that's going on, it has kind of put a questionable pause on all that stuff. I mean, we might still try and go up to places, but it kind of just depends on everything that's going on and a few other things that uh, we're about to talk about right now, actually. So moving on to haunts that are opening up this year, uh, or planning, excuse me, planning on opening up. I'm going to talk about one really quick, and I will be making a separate video on this uh, in the future whenever um, I find some time. Um, but Morrow's Nightmare is a haunt, a brand new haunt, that is planning on opening up this year, which Kira and I are working on. And when I say working on, I mean we are practically, not practically, we are helping create the event. Uh, we're creative directors, uh, scenic artists, we are doing costuming, makeup, hiring uh, the actors for it, we're building it, uh, we're literally doing everything. Uh, it's a super cool um, a project that we're working on that I'm very excited for. Something I've always wanted to do is create my own haunt. It's going to be a really cool event. It's going to be a fun event. It's going to have a pumpkin patch also attached to it. So it's got family fun and of course people getting scared on the other end. We're, the haunts themselves are not something that we are planning on being for children, like a family thing. It's going to be a very, very uh, serious thing. We won't be able to get scared. You know, that's the goal. We want to scare, terrify the crap out of people, right? But that is a haunt that you guys should definitely check out. Like I said, we will be posting another video on that specifically with more information once everything gets announced and, and whatnot. That way you guys can get a little bit more info on that. Um, if you want to follow 
uh, The Haunt. It's Morrow's Nightmare on Facebook and then Nightmare Morrow on Twitter. Follow us. Uh, get our, 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 our subs and all that stuff up. That way we can help promote everything and get some feet and all that stuff into the into the haunt. That way we can scare people because I, I, w- I won't be scaring at the event, but there will be one night that I will be having a chainsaw in my hands scaring the crap out of people. That's the goal, and it will happen. I, will, I bought a chainsaw. I will make sure of it. But moving on to other haunts, uh, Sir Henry's Haunted Trail had posted a video uh, saying that they are planning on opening up for this year, which is exciting. We love Sir Henry's. They're really good friends of ours. I love going out to their event every year. It's it's a really good time. It has a very good feel and vibe to it. It's always fun. Their trails are really, really good. So I'm excited they're coming back. I don't know about Ominous Descent. They haven't announced anything. They are technically two different haunts on the same property. I would like to assume that Ominous Descent will be opening up with them. It's kind of how it is, but... Without an official word, there's no telling. Not sure about that one. Um, but I just think what it, thought I'd include it with the events that we're planning on happening just because they're connected. And Sir Henry's already said something uh, about opening up, so hopefully they will too. Oh, I'm gonna is really fun. Very intense. One of the only haunted houses I've ever ran out of, actually, uh, two years in a row. But yeah, they do, they do really good stuff. Another haunt that's opened up or that's opening up and is actually open now is Mortem Manor. They're open up year round. Uh, they have said that they're going to be opening for the the season as well. I mean, which would make sense if they're open now, they're gonna be open in a few months unless things change. Um, there's obviously that question of things could be getting, you know, shut down again or anything can happen really. But as of right now, Mortem Manor is also gonna be opened up. Uh, you also have Undead in the Water, uh, which is a haunted trail, I guess you could say. It's a haunt event on a boat, on a uh, old war- uh, aircraft carrier, uh, which is cool. It's an event that we've been trying to go to for a few years, but haven't had the time, unfortunately. But this is the year that we were planning on going also. We are going to go last year. Uh, I got too busy, but this is the year we're going to go. At some point in time, we will be there. Uh, it's ran by Scott Swenson, who used to do Hollow Scream back in the day. Uh, so that's why I'm very excited to get to it because I haven't been to it and it's something that Scott was working on. Scott is really, really talented when it comes to haunts and everything scary. So uh, thankfully he's going to be opening up so we can go and check it out, hopefully. We also have 13th Floor in Jacksonville, which um, we've been to many times. That one's really good. We've never been for haunt season, though. We've only been to their like themed events. Like, we went for one in valentine's day and then we did another one i did another one akira wasn't with me but i did another one for it's like some kind of like zombie laser tag thing i don't know i don't remember when it was i think it was in march or something but uh every time we have been it's been awesome they are really cool especially the one in jacksonville it's really awesome they have a really cool laser swamp that threw me off the first time i went through it um so if you guys get the chance to go to 13th floor definitely check it out it's really fun and I'm sure we'll try and get out there at some point this year also. Now, continuing on the topic of haunts that are going to be open, there's two new haunts opening up uh, that are going to be one of a kind. Technically two of a kind, but uh, there's Stream and Scream and The Haunted Road, which are drive-through attractions. Haunted attractions that you're going to be in your car still, safe, at a safe distance from other people, aside from the people in your car, of course but they're going to be drive through attractions where you're gonna, almost like a hayride, except you're in your own car, you're in control of your own car, and you're gonna be getting scared while you're basically in your car. It's a very interesting um, concept. I'm excited to see how it works. Uh, We are planning on definitely checking out both, and I do plan on doing a video as well on both of, uh, both Streaming Scream and The Haunted Road uh, to give you guys a little bit more information on that. Um, But it seems very cool. It's nice to see that there's new haunts coming into the the area to kind of keep haunt season alive with everything that's going on and a lot of other haunts being canceled that just aren't able to operate. Uh, it's very cool to see that there's still something available to do for all of us haunt fans and Halloween freaks and people that just love to get scared during haunt season and still be able to enjoy, you know, our basically our season, our fun time, our Christmas, right? And lastly for haunts that are going to be open, which I'm going to obviously make another video on uh, separately for more information is Hollow Scream. They just announced that they're planning on opening up, which is kind of big. 
uh, especially with Horror Nights not happening, Hollow Scream is happening, so it's a lot to talk about there. I can't talk about too much, but I can make a video on it in some shape or form. I just can't talk about a lot, uh, unfortunately. But I will make a video on it. Um, it's awesome that Hollow Scream is happening, though. I'm excited. It's going to be nice to see a bunch of my friends again. And it's just, it's nice being at the park with the spooky stuff around and having fun. There is, they did say there is no haunted houses. It's just going to be scare zones. So, although there's no houses, it'll still be a fun event, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll talk about that in a separate video that I will be hopefully posting sooner rather than later. I know it's been quite a while since we've posted anything. Things have been pretty crazy, pretty hectic, but now we are going to hopefully be on somewhat of a consistent basis. We are going to be pretty busy with everything, uh, especially with this building a haunt. I mean, we only have a few months to build it, so it's going to be a pretty pretty busy uh, two months for us, but hopefully I'll still be able to have stuff posted up for you guys. Um, we are filming behind the scenes of everything um, for uh, the haunt that we are doing, so you guys will see that in a future video as well. That'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, if you were watching still, appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry we've been gone so long. If you are still subscribed, that's awesome. If you haven't, feel free to subscribe. Uh, follow us on social media, um, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Misfits Unmanaged. And yeah, it's nice to be back. Sorry we've been gone so long. Um, promise it won't be five months again, but it's good to be back. And until next time, guys, stay spooky.